to be the first female fighter lead for this uh, component is definitely an honour. So we'll be doing the fighter island fly past as well as uh, for the total defence display. Uh, we will be doing the double shackle as well as the high G turn into vertical climb. And finally the salute to the nation. The requirements of an aerial display um, are slightly different from day-to-day -day tactical training that we do. Um, they require a different level of uh, precision and also um, understanding the ground perspective, what the audience will see. Having my guys you know, go down to the show centre with their video cameras to take videos of us and then coming back quickly so that we can have the videos for debrief to make sure that we put out the best show. I'm a commercial pilot as a, in, a, in civilian life, so it's a challenge for me to really balance the uh, time and commitment for the training and the rehearsal. We are doing a very high G turn. We are looking at the in excess of a 7G, so that will be seven times my body weight. Uh, in the close proximity of each other and also with the uh, close to the ground. I require 110% of my attention uh, during the maneuver. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Stanley Selva. I'm the Deputy Chairman Air Participation Committee for NDP 22. Um, the training for the, the flyers uh, started as early as, as in April. Recently, we've uh, started doing it uh, at the show center so that they can appreciate the actual um, area that they're going to be operating in to see everything come together and uh, turn out well, um, that everyone gets to enjoy it. And I think that's the most fulfilling element. For the AH-64 TDD, they are doing a manoeuvre called the Apache Combat Attack. What the audience can expect to see is the two Apaches flying very close together, um, conducting a very complex manoeuvre and while maintaining that tight formation.